Where's your hunker? She's locked up at the Rat House. Orders of the Bishop. Locked up? For what? For heretical speeches. What happened to your hunker? Nothing good, I'm sorry to say. She was locked up by the Papal Inquisitor Bishop Yaroslav of Beneshov. It seems he somehow caught wind of this preaching of hers. He's accused her of spreading heresy and had her placed under arrest. The accusations brought against Yohanka are very serious. Right. I'll go and see this Bishop Yaroslav of Beneshov. May God go with you. And thank you, Henry. I'm glad you're standing up for Yohanka. If you need anything, do come and see me. So, I am... Henry of Scarlet, from the garrison of the Royal Hetman, Sir Radzig Kobila. I've heard a lot about you, my son. I'm pleased to meet you. Bishop Yaroslav, uh, sir, my lord, to what do I owe your interest in my humble self? I was told you survived the massacre in Scarlet and warned the Townburg garrison. You tracked down the raiders of a stud farm in Neuhof, wasn't it? To their hideout in the woods. And then you led Sir Radzig and his armed company there and joined bravely in the skirmish and even killed their notorious leader by your own hand. And I believe you have many other deeds to your name. That's quite remarkable, considering your age, is it not? I had some unsettled accounts to deal with. And I still do. Mm-hmm. You're clearly not lacking in determination. A word of caution, though. Fervor can easily lead to recklessness. Nevertheless, I assume you came on account of Johanka. Uh, yes. Then tell me what's on your mind. And what will happen to Johanka now? I must weigh the gravity of her transgressions and investigate these alleged visions of hers. I consider it very improbable that she is indeed being visited by the Blessed Virgin. Nevertheless, I cannot at this time rule it out entirely. And will there be anyone there to defend your hunker? Do you doubt my judgment? I would never be so bold, sir. But surely it would be only just that someone should speak for your hunker about all her good deeds and so forth? Naturally, I will also question those who would speak in her defense. Since you are interceding, I expect you have someone in mind? Yes. Actually, me. As I surmised. But this matter does not directly concern you. Why should I allow you to appear before the court? Johanka is my neighbor, and I have a Christian duty to come to her aid. I can't just stand by and do nothing. I have to concur with you on that. Your concern seems sincere, so I will grant your request. Very well. You will defend Johanka. You may speak in her defense if you so wish, and you may also bring witnesses. I will question any such witnesses, and naturally I shall question Johanka too. Thank Tell me, my son, truthfully. What do you think of this whole affair? About the Virgin Mary? I... I believe the Virgin does visit her. Johanka is honest. She wouldn't lie about such a thing. And the things she says sound truthful and compelling. It really does seem like a heavenly revelation. Who else could it be from? But the Virgin Mary. Johanka is an honest girl, and virtuous. She's a good Christian, who attends church and thinks of others. Good. Please continue. Johanka helped a lot of people. She worked her fingers to the bone helping Brother Nicodemus with the sick and injured. That is certainly commendable. What else can you tell me about her? <laughs> Brother Nicodemus. You've heard something? The Inquisitor has decided that Yohanka will be tried, but he's agreed that I can defend her. That's really quite unusual. It must mean he hasn't come to a clear conclusion yet. Yes. I'll get her out of it. 
I'm afraid it may not be that easy. Ah. So you think she might start talking about the church? Yes, I'm afraid she might. I dread to think how that might end up. Henry, you must warn her against that. She must show humility before the Inquisitor, and the wisest course will be to admit to being wrong. Witnesses can be summoned for Yahanka's trial. So, I wanted to ask you if you'd give a testimony. Maybe some learned speech in her defense? I'd be glad to do it. Yohanka deserves my help. Such testimonies could carry a lot of weight. You should try and get as many as you can. Adela, the Inquisitor is going to try Yohanka in court. Oh, Lord. I hope she's acquitted. I was absolutely devastated when they took her away. I need people to speak in her defense, and I'd like to ask you to do it. I don't want to go there, really. I'm afraid of that Inquisitor, but you helped me, and so did Johanka. It's only right that I should try and help her. I need something from you, sir. I suppose you heard that Johanka was locked up by the Inquisitor and is facing charges of heresy. I did, and it's most disturbing news. What you might not know is that he's agreed that I can defend her at the trial. You? Do you even know what to say? Sure I know. It'll turn out just fine. Trust me. But I need you to testify at the court. In Johanka's defense, of course. Naturally. You don't think I could just sit here and do nothing? Besides, the bishop has already insisted that I appear before the court. Oh. All right. One moment. I apologize if I was a little hasty. This whole affair has left me anxious. I appreciate that you want to defend her. However, I don't think it would have any effect. No offense, but I don't think you'll be able to achieve anything in court. I'm afraid the Inquisitor will judge as he sees fit, whatever anyone says. But I have an idea how you could help. Oh? How's that? Flee. With your Hanka, of course. No, I don't think that's a good idea. I'm sure Johanka will be acquitted by the court and everything will be all right. But I'd like to ask you to speak to the court in Johanka's defense. Of course, Henry. You have my word. And the word of a burger of Colleen ought to mean something. But to speak in defense of someone accused of heresy is no small matter. What do you want me to say? The same thing you told me. That it was a sacred sign that you happened to be nearby when Johanka was speaking and so on. I need your help with something. I'm sure you've heard. Your hanker was locked up by the Inquisitor. Who hasn't? The whole of Sasa was talking about it. And the Inquisitor was asking around about her. I'd like to ask you to appear before the court and say something in your hanker's defense. I can't say I'm keen on going there. But your hanker helped me. And you did too. I think it's only right that someone should say something good about her. Ah. God be with you, Henry. Master Bailiff, Inquisitor Yaroslav is going to try Johanka. I know. He was here asking questions, too. Oh. He's been talking to a lot of other people in Sasau too. I even heard that Katra, the swordsmith's wife, invited him to dine with them. That's interesting. Thanks for telling me. Father, the Inquisitor has had Johanka thrown in jail. I know, son. He's planning a hearing. Rightly so. It's about time this whole matter was dealt with. What do you think about it, then? As I say, it's a good thing that the matter is being investigated. The things Johanka has been preaching are, to say the least, disturbing. Who... What have you got against Johanka? Nothing. The question is, what has she got against us? Tell me that. What? She turns up here and tries to tell us how to live our lives, says the Virgin Mary whispers to her in the night. Yeah, I'm sure, to a simple village wench. She ought to have thought twice before she started. Not that she wasn't warned. Tell me everything you know. I represent the royal hetman, so don't try and keep anything from me. 
if you must know, some of the fellas want to have it out with her and tell her to stop. No one wants her speeches here. But would she listen? No. The devil possessed her to bring harm to us. So it was you who sent those men? All I wanted was to protect the Sasso folk against her poisonous tongue. And I'll do just that. The Monsignor asked me to testify in court. And I'll tell everything I know there. And I'll do likewise. Farewell. Go! Hey, clear off. No one's allowed to talk to your hunker. Bishop Yaroslav's orders. I'm quite aware of that, my man. I'm with the bishop's entourage. Look, show me that. Ah, I see. Your hunker, are you all right? Yes, Henry. I'm fine. I'm glad to see you. I spoke to the Inquisitor. He wants to put you on trial. I know. It's all in God's hands now. I'll get some people who will testify for you in court. But Brother Nicodemus is worried you'll say things that will make the Inquisitor angry. Please don't do that. You have to talk to him respectfully, answer his questions with humility, and not say anything to annoy him. And don't say anything against the church or priests. Please. I'll say only what the Blessed Virgin wants me to say. I spoke to Yohanka. And did you manage to convince her? I'm afraid not. She's stubborn. She says she answers only to the Blessed Virgin. Matthias? You're better. Henry? Is it you? Yes, it's me. Who else would it be? Oh, I'm glad you're here, Henry. I feel a bit better now. I'd even like to eat something. I must tell your hunker. She'll be glad. Your hunker's not here. Oh? Where is she? Oh, how to begin? Look, things got a bit complicated here. The main thing is... Your hunker is in jail, awaiting trial. Listen, Matthias, I need you to go with me and talk to her. Maybe together we can convince her to see sense. I wish I could. But I'm still too weak to even get out of bed. I'm sorry, Henry. I just can't do it. You know what? Tell her I'm feeling better, and I agree with everything you tell her. Give her this dice. She'll understand. It'll almost be like I was there with you. All right. Thanks, Matthias. Henry. About that trial? Yes, the trial. I spoke to Matthias. What? But he's lying in a fever, isn't he? No, he's much better. He asked about you. He wanted to come here, but he's not strong enough yet. Oh, that's wonderful. What would be the point of it all if the Inquisitor were to have you imprisoned now? Or even worse? It's a message. A final test. I mustn't fail now. After everything. But you already passed the Virgin Mary's message on. Many people heard it, and many of them have amended their ways. You certainly haven't failed. Look, Matthias gave me this for you, and he asked me to tell you to look out for yourself. Thank you, Henry. Go now. I need to rest. 